Now, what were you doing in high school? Were you thinking about how to help amputees or farmers in South Africa or figuring out how to delay the onset of Alzheimer's? Denver 7 reporter Mark Boyle has more on some scientists in Douglas County who haven't even yet graduated high school. Yeah, we learned. What CRISPR does is it inserts and deletes um, pieces of your genome, like little segments, and that can make you, like, cure diseases. Try to keep up with these kids if you can. They're part-time high school students, part-time scientists at Rock Canyon High School in Douglas County. This is extremely incredible opportunity for um, our, the biotech kids here that we get to do this before we go off to college. Allison Kirker was working in a prosthetic clinic this past summer when she noticed the amputees often getting severe rashes. That's why Kirker and Emily Satum are working to find the cause of the rash. We're going to look at the different species, and if there's one that the amputee has that the non amputee doesn't, then that could be some significant finding. Across the lab, Brooke Gallion and Allie Kelmer are developing an onset delay for Alzheimer's. The worms that we're analyzing, they have plaque buildup in the brain uh, from the Alzheimer's gene that was inserted in them. It's a disease that impacts over 5 million Americans, including some that Allie worked one on one with. It was heartbreaking, you know, to like watch someone that you like really do care for. To like completely lose their memory. These students are getting help from decorated scientists from around the world with these projects while problem solving on their own. We need you to call this place and order this, and we're going to be going down the hall here and calling our mentors. We need to ask a couple questions, and they're asking me for advice, so I'm more of a support staff for them. With just one look here, you don't have to understand what these students are doing to understand that our future appears to be in pretty good hands. Reporting in Highlands Ranch, Mark Boyle, Denver 7. Yeah, they are impressive, aren't they? And the students haven't decided where they're going to college, but names like, oh, Stanford and Harvard and Brown University are being discussed. School leaders say interest in the program is growing so fast that next year, students will have to apply to get in.